Hello viewers, my name is Florence Minor. Welcoming you to yet another time of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy this beautiful morning. <laughs> Are there times that you look at things and you ju just start loving and you see like you are in a dream. You see like you are imagining things. You know, those things and those times are very, very important because when you, you look back and say, my, was it me who was there and now I am here? It surprises you and gives you excitement. The title of my message today will be Like People Who Dreamt. Are there things that God has done for you? Or you prayed and God answered you beyond what you expected? He surprised you. And you are there and you are, wow, is this what God can do? Let me tell you, <laughs> the word of God tells us in the book of Psalms 126, I'm going to read verse 1 to 3. This is what it says. When the Lord brought back the captives to Zion, we were like men who dreamt. Our mouths were filled with laughter. I like that. Our tongues with songs of joy. Mm. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. Verse 3, the Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. How I pray that this moment you can remember those times, those things you might have pray, prayed for or desired. You did not even pray. And then God just surprised you. I have had so many of them. I want to tell you, when you commit yourself to God, it does not matter how long it takes. There is a time God is going to come and surprise you. He'll surprise you with your children graduating and having honors with honors and phds and you wonder and our background and our in our right age in our families there was nobody let me tell you this is a real testimony in my family we were a very humble family and i look back and i see where god has brought us even me coming here to america it makes me feel like I am a person who dreams. And sometimes I go before God and I just start crying of joy. And I start saying, I am going to mention this song a little bit in my mother tongue. go, go, Times reaches and you say, I am going to praise you, Lord Jesus, because you have brought me this far. First and foremost, the greatest miracle, the greatest thing that God has done for me is saving my soul and giving me that joy that looks, that makes me look like I am a millionaire. Like, because God is good. May the Lord help you. Let us Look back and see where God has brought us. And we shall be filled with joy. We shall be filled with songs of praise. We shall be filled with laughter. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to remember where you have taken us from. So that we can be filled with joy. We can be filled with the praises in our hearts. And we can be able to sh share with other people, impact other people. Our laughter and our joy and our lifestyle can be, oh my God, a lifestyle that will impact people in wherever we are. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless you. Again, our text of reverence to do was Psalms 126, verse 1 to 3. 